Watch your step on the back, guys. All right, we're, we're joined by Charleston head coach Earl Grant, senior Grant Riller, junior Brevin Galloway. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us, and coach, we'll turn it over to you for an opening statement. Yeah, you know, thought the guys uh, played really hard. Um, you know, we came up short tonight, certainly. And I thought Delaware, uh, we were able to take some things away in the past, and today they got loose for some shots, and they made them. So, you know, give them credit. Uh, they did some good things, and we came up short, but really happy that our guys were able to play with good spirit, never quit. And uh, we, just didn't, we just didn't have an answer for some of the shots they made coming down the stretch. We cut it to four, cut it to six, had a chance to cut it to four, and we just couldn't get any closer than that. Open it up for questions. Yeah, you know, I mean, I thought we, uh, we had a lot of good moments this season. And uh, we had a lot of tough moments. I mean, I think uh, that's college basketball. I think about 30 teams have great years. You know, about 30 have awful years or 50. And then some teams in, in between. I think we've been in between. You know, we had our opportunities, uh, played a lot of young guys, and, uh, you know, just weren't, weren't able to find a way to get over the hump in some of those close games. But, but I thought the, the guys who sit next to me, they've been pretty consistent. <clears throat> You know, all year, certainly Grant carrying a heavy load, you know, uh, every night getting 25, 27 points and having to play defense and take charges and, and lead. So I thought he had carried a, a heavy burden. And I'm really pleased with, you know, uh, Brevin Galloway's development, what he's been able to do this year. And, and both of them got bright futures moving forward. You know, Grant will play basketball after he leave here. And, and Brev will have a great opportunity to take the next step in his game. Here we go ahead. Um, very emotional. Um, I was kind of dreading this moment uh, the whole season. Uh, whole year, I was just trying to make sure I took it day by day, uh, enjoy my last days with my teammates. Uh, and, and I'm happy I got to come back for, for a fifth year and, and do it all over again. Um, sad it had to end like this, but I'm happy I came back. Um, I'm excited for that. Uh, it's going to be a new opportunity for me to step up and show what I can do. Um, it's going to be tough without this guy beside me, but uh, I've learned a lot from him as far as how poised he is and you know how he is under pressure and stuff like that. So I think I'll be able to do a good job. I mean, he's been, you know, as a first-time head coach, uh, getting a job at 36 years old, and and it's in September the second. And my first call was September the 3rd, and he pretty much three weeks to a month later, you know, he said he's coming. So he mean a lot to me. And, uh, and you know, I'll have his back for the next 40 years just because he poured a lot into this program. And, and, and he's, he's leaving the program better than where he found it um, in terms of where when he got to the program. But, you know, he mean a lot to me, just been very loyal, uh, hardworking, and, I look forward to fighting for him now to see where what's next I mean, because there's a lot of exciting things coming up and that's a big you know responsibility for for myself and and my staff to make sure he gets what he deserves so uh, coach um, looking forward to next year so what are some areas that you guys can improve on well you know i mean there's a lot of things we can improve on i think out of all the seasons uh six years as a head coach i probably learned the most in this season you know, there's a lot of things I learned. You know, I don't want to share them right now. I'll, I'll take my self-evaluation, talk about with the staff and really look at some things. But, you know, but I think that what I want to improve is just to continue to, you know, try to have that toughness that this program has always have, had and that competitive spirit. You know, we had a couple guys sitting out that can help us with that. We've signed a couple guys already, and maybe we'll sign another one or two more. So um, I'm excited. Uh, we did have some young guys that we threw into the fire pretty quickly. You know, most of our bench was freshmen. And um, so we got a lot of work to do in the spring to try to, you know, continue to move this program forward. Grant, it just didn't seem like they let Sam get out there and shoot those threes like he's been doing, especially against these guys last weekend. Well, what did they do differently than you saw? Um, well, for one, they doubled him in the post. 
uh, which he hasn't seen a lot this year. But at the end of the day, you just got to give credit to them for making adjustments. And then, uh, Brevin, Nate, Nate really struggled last week in Charleston. He got going. What, what was he doing today that was different? I mean, he's just a talented player. I mean, offensively, he's one of the best in the league. Um, he's tough to the, he's tough to contain. Uh, I tried to do what I can, um, but he got the best of me today. So I I gave him a hat off. All right, gentlemen, thank you for taking the time today. Thanks, appreciate it, guy. Thank you.